Okay guys, this is Dr. Sean over at Fortis Colleges and we're going through what you can see up there, uh, the OAHP um, 105. That's terminology, medical terminology. I'm going to go through the syllabus right now. So um, just this should take a few minutes. I'm just going to read through it for you. Um, that way you don't have to go hunting things down. And I can explain a couple of things. So medical terminology syllabus. The course will introduce students to the terminology associated with medical language. To function effectively in the healthcare professions, students must understand the anatomy of word construction, including prefixes, that's the beginning of the word, right? Suffixes, the end of the word. Root words, that's the uh, root words. Root words, which is the, the center or the meaningful part of the, the subject of the word. And medical abbreviations. So a medical abbreviation is going to be like, um, uh, gee whiz, the SOB means shortness of breath. Uh, PT can mean patients, things like that. Through laboratory assignments, terminology relative to the body systems is represented to help the student uh, understand medical terminology. In addition to studying medical terminology, the course briefly covers disease processes and treatment modalities such as psychiatry, oncology, psychiatry, which is has to do with the psyche, the brain, ology, iatry means the uh, uh, getting into really, and ology means study. So oncology, the study of tumors or cancer, radiology, the study of radios. No, I'm just kidding. Actually, it's a study of radiation, so that's going to be x-rays, and nuclear medicine. This introductory course provides basis for an in-depth study of human anatomy and physiology, which you guys are probably also going to take. So I have videos already online about that, about the terminology class week by week, chapter by chapter, as well as, um, well, this one, and ones for anatomy too. Contract hours, 60 hours, 20 for lecture and 40 for laboratory. So 40 is going to be like really all your homework stuff, right? Out of class work, 40 hours, credit hours, 4.0. So this is four credits, right? In this course, students will explain terminology associated with the structure of medical language. And that's going to be, remember, we're talking about the Latin parts of it, the Greek parts of it, the names, and then some common words too. Utilize medical terminology associated with the dermatology, the skin, orthopedics, of uh, joints and, and muscles and stuff, and the musculoskeletal system. Utilize medical terminology associated with the cardiovascular, that's going to be the heart and the vessels. Circulatory, that's the movement of the blood, and lymphatic systems. Lymphatic system is a totally different system, which is a um, related to the blood in a way that you'd have to understand if you watch that video. So go back and look at those videos. Utilize medical terminology associated with the respiratory, that's lungs and bronchioles and stuff like that. Digestive, that's of course the stomach, the intestines, and urinary systems, that's going to be the kidneys, the ureters, and the bladder. Urinary bladder, that is. Utilize medical terminology, terminology associated with the nervous and endocrine system and the senses. Nervous system is fast information back and forth from the brain to the body and the body to the brain. And then the endocrine has to do with um, a little bit slower um, movement of information through the endocrine system, which has to do with the glands. And the, um, the senses, of course, are going to be the eyes, the, the smell, the taste, hearing, and touch. Okay, Utilize medical terminology associated with the male and female reproductive systems. That's kind of the end of it all. And that's going to be um, just you know becoming pregnant and all that kind of stuff, making kids. Required textbooks. So Shiland, BJ, Mastering Healthcare Terminology 6th Edition. I bought this online on thrift books or ABE books or something like that. Get it for like four or five bucks or six bucks. You can even get the fifth edition, but the sixth edition, of course, that's what you try to get. Now, these other ones in here, uh, Rutherford, Building a Medical Terminology Foundation, Health Administration Online, a Certification Study Guide. Um, these you should be able to download um, through uh, the college. You'll get a, a, a code that should help you on the Vital Source bookshelf for those things. Um, there's LIRN online database stuff. There's some cool stuff on there. Uh, instructional methods, lecture and discussion. That's going to be all video stuff. Reading. That's all you. Uh, lab activities. That's all you. Quizzes. That's all you. Midterm and final exams. So with all of these, I go over reviews, hint, hint on all of the, either a zoom meeting or this YouTube stuff. I will go over things with you. Okay. On those, uh, assignments and this assessments and labs and stuff. American with Disability Act guidelines. Uh, refer to the procedure outline on campus catalog. So if you have any problems, uh, a learning disability or a learning challenge or something like that, get in contact with uh, us here at the school and we'll help you out with that, of course. Classroom policy, the goal is to build a respectful learning working environment that allows positive communication and teamwork. To promote this, all students must be abided by academic policies related to attendance, 
Attendance means checking in. Check in. If you're on campus, go to campus. Look at stuff. Look at the stuff that's on the walls because that's good information for you. Remember, this is the whole idea of taking this class is to get the certificate and the degree so that you can get a good job. Okay, and the, the good job just makes things better. Okay, to promote all students must abide by academic related behavior. Behavior, uh, okay, will be nice, cool, and groovy. Professional conduct is um, as published in the catalog. Okay, whatever. So it looks like here, grade components. Looks like there's six lectures. That's every week. Okay, 10%. Labs, there's 15 of those. That's 30%. Assignments and homework, there's six of those. Another 30% of your grade. Quizzes and exams, 30% of your grade. So look at labs, assignments, and quizzes and exams, 30, 60, 90% right there. Okay. Grades, very easy. Um, A's is 90 and above. B's is 80 to 90. C's 70 to 80. D's 60 and above. F 59 or below. So you can get all the way down there, but try to get a little bit, just squeeze. Week. The idea with these classes is to pick at it every day if you can. Pick at it 15 minutes. Look at something. Try to get at least a couple things done. Okay, you, You'll get into it. Have it all done. You should be fine. Okay, I just want to make sure that I actually pressed record, which I've done. A minimum passing grade of D is required for a successful completion of the course. So you have to have at least 60%. Now, I have had patients who've gotten like 50 patients, students who've gotten like 59.6%. <laughs> you need one more question. So just do as much as you can. Really just pound some things through there, okay? Reading about 20 hours over the six weeks. So what does that mean? R reading uh, about 20 hours over six weeks, that's about three hours a week, right? Three, three, six, nine, 12, 18, 21. So three hours a week is not bad. That means that you're looking at like 15 minutes a day. 15 minutes a day with reading and you should be golden with this class. Now assignment would be on top of that. Quizzes would be on top of that. Okay, They can be faster. They can be slower. It depends on you. Remember some of them, if you look at the module, you can see that it has multiple attempts, which means your first attempt, you blow it. And you get like a 70 or a 60 or a 50 or whatever. And you can go back and do it again. Take notes. Have your papers ready. Okay, Course outline. Here we go. In learning class activities, orientation, which we've done. Okay, lesson overview, medical terminology, lectures and discussions, understanding medical terminology, body structure and directional terminology. There's videos on that, so we'll go over them again together. Uh, but you're going to go over those in the the um, uh, terminology playlist on the YouTube channel. <clears throat> uh, state, Harry Chu case study. Get those done. Those are quite easy. Mastering healthcare, uh, chapter one and two. Out of class assignments. Identifying word parts, chapter two, three, four, and five. So a little bit of reading there, huh? Preference and mastering healthcare terminology, chapter one, introduction, okay, and body structure. Assignment, mastering healthcare terminology, and medical words. Okay, good, good, good. Week two. This goes through each week, tells you exactly what's going on. Look at this. Week three, midterm exam, mastering healthcare, chapters one, two, three, four, nine, ten, and sixteen. And you'll have a couple attempts for that one. So Take your time with it. It's going to be week three. I do a review of that as well. Okay, week four, kind of the same thing. We're just pounding through a lot of information, mostly digestive, urinary, and respiratory system at that point. And then week five is going to be nervous, endocrine, and sensory organs. And then week six is male and female reproductive systems. Okay, so there we go. Week six also has the final, which is going to be chapters five, six, seven, eight, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Um, now you hear a little rustling around. That's my little dog, and he just went outside and did his business, so he gets a cookie, and that's what they do, so they get cookies. Anyway, sorry about that. There you go. There you go. And they're going to bug me until I give them one. So that's basically the end of it. This course syllabus is a general plan of course. Deviations may be necessary and will be announced. Individual instructor information to be distributed at the beginning of the course. That's where you can go to... Um, Oh, what is it called? You go up here to announcements and or home. You go to home. I'll show you right here. And you scroll on down, scroll on down, scroll on down to um, getting started. Now, getting started, we'll have a whole thing here. Boop. Hopefully we can see that. Let's see. Are we able to see? Yes, we are. Um, getting started, you can go through here. You have the course syllabus, which we just went through. Vital source bookshelf, sh bookshelf tutorial. It has the steps on how to do that. If you have that that code, um, let me see. It'll ask for 
uh, redemption code. You should have the code. You get that, you get the book. You don't have to pay for it. It's already in your tuition. Review announcements from the instructor. Do as many as you can. Okay, that's right up here on this left-hand side, right underneath home. I'll put announcements at least twice a week, okay? Uh, Fortis Online Policies. Go ahead and go through those. Uh, we've gone through them before, or you're going to go through them again, and you can see all of the kind of things that will help you out with the class. And then student resources. So there's a bunch of student resources. If you're having a trouble with the class, or you're having trouble with your computer, or you're having trouble logging in, or you're having trouble with the email, or whatever, make sure and have an email of the online, uh, your online counselor, your online, um, what are they called, uh, uh, coordinator. Now, they will help you with stuff that, that shows up. Even let us know. And let's say your car bo broke down or something like that, and you're like, I can't get to work, or I have to take the bus to work, and it's messing up my school schedule. Let us know. Let people know. That way we can kind of like help you adapt and get through this. This class goes so fast. It's going to be over in the beginning of March, and that's going to be crazy. So anyway, this is Dr. Sean over at Fortis Online Colleges. I'm teaching you, hopefully, and we're learning together uh, medical terminology, okay? And there's a lot of weird words, so there's a lot of really cool resources on there. You let me know what I can help you with, and we'll get through this, and it'll be fun and groovy, and you guys will be a uh, little uh, uh, geeks of the, of the knowing of the words and stuff. Take care, goodbye, and have a great day. Bye.